right, everyone. So I just arrived to the hotel and I want to show you my room. It's so pretty. Although I didn't get the best view, honestly. But the room is pretty nice. Let me show you. Ta da! This is the view that I told you, it's not the best view yet. Um, because we're like down. Yeah, but okay, I'll still enjoy the sun. <laughs> All right, so we're currently in this hotel called Golden Tulips previously, and now it's called La Palice, so they changed the name. And it's so beautiful. I still didn't do a tour yet here. They have the first to be nationally glorified pool. And uh, it's just so amazing. I still didn't see it yet. I saw them pictures. And I heard of it, I heard about it, but I still didn't see it. I'm not a swimmer myself. I don't know how to swim, although I love water and I enjoy being in the swimming pool. So I'll definitely be in it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice so far. As someone who's kind of used to like, you know, Radisson and like convention center and stuff. And it's like in Kigali, the city itself, the capital. So I wasn't really expecting to see a very beautiful grand hotel such as this in like a city outside of Kigali. But yo, this this is definitely, ugh, this is something. And I'm having like a creator inspiration, like a content creator inspiration right now. I wanna do this video, I wanna do that video. And this is gonna be a video. Although I wasn't planning to do any video, but, but why not? Why not? Content creators never stop. We always just think of what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it. But yo, I still don't know if I should like change my clothes or not. Since I came here, I've been using my own like cellular data and I, you know, just like remember, I was like, because they send me like, you use 50% of your data as they always do. But anyways, I was like, oh, so I didn't use the Wi-Fi. Oh, okay, what am I doing? And then like I switched to Wi-Fi and this like reminded me of a story that happened pretty recently. So we went to KFC with my friends and like, you know, I was there also using my own data. I forgot, you know, sometimes you really do forget. I have Wi-Fi at my place, at my home, but like, you know, when you go out, you buy. So we went there and then like, I saw, I don't, I don't know, I saw Wi-Fi somewhere, like Wi-Fi password. I was like, oh my God, let me switch to Wi-Fi. Why am I using mine? Like KFC is already expensive. Anyways, and then like, there was like that waiter that kind of became a friend. He was, he just came and I was like, hi, this is not my first time seeing you here. Oh, maybe I, this, whatever it was, just like talking. He, he's so good at his job, by the way. He's like so smart. Like he knows what he's doing. And then I was like, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you remind me of like the Wi-Fi? Just like jokingly. And he was like, um, you know, um rich people come here and they often have their own cellular data and i was like this guy literally called me poor because i asked for the password the wi-fi password and it's funny i know i should be ashamed but i'm not i'm a student yes i'm poor what are you expecting but like it, it's just it's just a funny story i like him by the way his, his name was like you know, poor people forget, so I don't really remember his name. So we're gonna stay here for like four days, three nights and four days. And today we don't have anything during the, for the program. So today is like, just enjoy, get to know the place, get to know each other. I think we're gonna have dinner together. So I feel like I'm gonna be so philosophical in this video, but honestly, I need to talk. So let me just talk. Yesterday, I was going through a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Like it was just so bad. Like I literally was crying the whole whatever. I just felt like my mind was like sort of away for this whole week. I wasn't focusing on one thing, which is usually not me. Okay, I do multitasking, like I'm someone who does a lot of things at the same time. But usually my brain is like focused on one thing, that one thing that I'm doing. But th this week, it was just so bad. I couldn't even focus in class, like not even for a second. I felt like I was just lost. But then I was just like so angry. I had like very angry energy and I didn't know why. Honestly, just so mad at the world for some reason. And maybe myself, honestly, I feel like I was so mad at myself. I would sleep like this, like so tense. I would wake up and feel like pain all over my body, all over my, like especially headache, don't even talk about it. I just wanted so many things and none will work, like nothing. And then all of a sudden, yesterday, it was like I exploded. So I was like cry, said things to some people, I, you know, just like I let it all out. I feel like this is my punishment for myself, which is usually like 
when there's something really serious that is so bad on me instead of just like crying i feel like we have two places for like tears i feel like there's different tears because like i'm usually someone who's like so emotional when it comes to like i don't know just like there's certain things that make me cry easily like i can just see a bird feeding their child and I started to cry because I remember my mom you know like my tears were just like someone would tell me a sad story and then I started to cry so it's not like crying is for me it's not really I don't really think of it right but there's that one type of crying there's like I have so many problems I can't figure out a solution I feel like I don't even deserve to cry so I hold it inside of me and then it becomes toxic like my energy was toxic I know I was like so mad and angry just like that once I let it all out if I didn't believe in like energies previously, I would have done it yesterday. But literally, I woke up today, guys. Today, everything changed. Everything in my life changed. Like l literally, it was just like, I just slept and woke up and magic is happening. Since this morning, I was just like receiving calls and messages. Everything is perfect. Thank God. Really, R like really, I'm so grateful today. So I want to do good things today. I want to like give positive energy to everyone. This is my mission for, for this trip. It's like to just be positive and like try to add some things in people's life because I'm pretty sure they, they do the same to me. They add like value to my life. <sighs> That's it. Yeah, I feel like I gotta change. Anyways, thank you for listening. That was like therapy. So like I know that naturally I tend to be like a motivator. I'm sort of like, a, you know, this is my mentality. I don't really believe in like impossible things. I know for a fact that there are things that you just can't do. You can't stop someone from dying. You can't really control sickness. I know there are things that we can just control. I just took the extreme with death and stuff. But even other things like me, my university situation was so complicated for like two years. And technically, logically, there was like no reason. Like, tech, like 100% no reason. My grades were very high. I was like a laureate. Everything was just supposed to happen very instantly, but it didn't. Now, everything is just happening very quickly. And I'm like, wow, wow. You can't really just say like, you can decide everything and plan everything. And I'm kind of someone who likes to plan and feel like I'm in charge of like, I'm in control of everything, which is so wrong and so tiring and suffocating with time. But like right now, I feel like, oh, that's actually nice. Like, you know, um, you can just relax, so go with the flow. If you see a chance, an opportunity, grab it. And in, if you see anything that is like so just over you and your power and you can't do really anything about it, just relax. Just just stay away and look at it and see what's gonna happen. I'm talking, I'm so thirsty. They also gave me a glass, but I don't think I will use it. <laughs> just use this one, because why not? You know what I wanna do? I want to call my mom. I've been trying to see if, like, what is this thing here? And, yeah, that's very nice. I'm just trying to figure out if they gave anything. Ah, ha, ha. I like mysteries. I hope they give me something. Please put something else somewhere. What the heck is that? What is that? It's a fish. It's a fish. Oh. Yep. I wouldn't need that. What else do we have here? I opened this already, I remember now. <laughs> I see things here. So we have a towel. Okay, nice, typical. Let me just put this here. What else? See, they are assuming we're rich. Own it, accept it. If they think I have that much money that I would put in that thing, maybe it's true. Hell yeah, let's manifest it. Yes, I'm in. Why not? Okay, I think I look pretty nice in this mirror. Let's let's check this one. Oh no, light. Nice. I like this one better. Can I go to dinner? So adios. So we're in this room doing a meeting. Oh wow, we are literally the first ones to be here. Okay, just choose a place. Don't be ashamed, don't sit up at the back, don't hide. <laughs> and also don't sit too in front because this is gonna be annoying. I think this is just like the perfect place here. We can all sit here. Yeah. It's not very, it's somewhere in the middle, so it's fine. Or like here, if you don't wanna be under like the light. Oh, I want you to introduce yourselves. 
Hi. What's your name? Nemma. Nemma. And you? Hello. My name is Nene. Nice to meet you. And you? Hello. My name is Faustin. Nice to meet you. Oh, my name is Madi. My name is Madi. Go ahead. Yeah. What, your name is what? She called me Shy Boy. So, I no. what's your name? My I name didn't say is, Shy. Hello, my name is Shy Boy. Okay, Shy Boy. Yeah. You're, You're blaming together. me now for this name. <laughs> my name is Erebe. Erebe. Yeah. Nice to meet you. It's Madi. Yeah. All right, guys, so what happened is that <laughs> I broke a nail. Uh, yeah, and now we're going to the reception to get super glue. You're my new friend. I'm so happy to have met you over right here. Oh, yeah. oh my god, yeah. We can even ask here. Do you think they do have it? In the... <laughs> Hello? Um, do you know where we can find like super glue? Super glue? Yes. Maybe in the boutique outside. Outside at this time. Are they open? Mm. Okay, thank you. I will ask someone else to see if they have. What? What? Show me again. What did you say? Just be like what? Be like this. <laughs> She's asking me to hold it like that. <laughs> I'll just remove it and put it in my bag. And this is so funny. So that we, so that we can identify you from the many, as you saw here, this hotel is already right? It has very many people in. Pour faciliter l'identification. Hey, hey, I need a lawyer. Did I not say a hotel? You did. Yes. Do you have any uh, difficulties? Do you have a problem in your room? The water is not heating. Profitez de votre séjour et si vous avez des problèmes dans vos chambres, s'il y a un problème d'eau ou quoi que ce soit, veuillez. Yes, reach out to us. Veuillez contacter l'administration. Esther. Asko, Erika, any person that you see, this time, this time I'm fine. Don't worry about the stretch of our stomachs. We're going to go and relax in our stomachs.